Tensions between Russia and the U.S. reached a new high as Russia continues to beef up its military presence on the Ukraine border. This week, U.S. and Russian officials are going to undergo high-stakes talks in Geneva to try and de-escalate the invasion. Raquel Martin joins us live in D.C. with the latest. Good morning, Raquel. Good morning, Raina. Well, all eyes will be on these talks, which kicked off early this morning. Now, of course, these are critical negotiations. Right now, Russia has more than 100,000 troops on the Ukraine border. The U.S. and NATO allies say their message remains clear. If they do not de-escalate and pull back, there will be serious consequences. The question really now is uh, whether uh, President Putin will take the path of diplomacy and dialogue or... Uh, seeks confrontation. Sunday on ABC's This Week, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the U.S. will lay out severe consequences if Russia chooses to invade Ukraine. Economic, financial, uh, and other consequences. But Blinken says he does not expect any major breakthroughs this week as U.S. and Russian officials hold negotiations in Geneva. The talks come as right now roughly 100,000 Russian troops await at the Ukraine border. Russian President Vladimir Putin contends the country belongs belongs to Russia and is demanding NATO stop its expansion in Eastern Europe and the U.S. pull some troops from the region. Uh, neither of those is on the table. On CNN's State of the Union, Blinken said while the U.S. is not willing to go that far, there is room for compromise. If they are uh, uh, proceeding in, in good faith, we think we can make progress in addressing concerns on both sides. But if Russian aggression continues, NATO allies are prepared to reinforce its position along its eastern flank. But at this point, U.S. and Russian officials not showing much optimism. They'll be able to strike a deal by the end of this week. This, of course, is just the latest attempt from the U.S. to try and de-escalate tensions. We know President Biden has held at least two phone calls with Russian President Vladimir Putin in the last few months. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin. Back to you, Reina. Thank you for that update, Raquel. Well, coming up on the